map reduce internal flow we are discussing the internal flow of data in so guys these highlighted nodes are the slave nodes these uh, gray boxes are the slave nodes you can see guys there are four boxes out of which on three boxes i have shown map and on one box i have shown as reduce so guys actually there are three slaves although for the simplicity just for the explanation i am showing you four slaves but they are just three slaves okay let me write here slave number one slave number two and slave number three suppose these are the three slaves so guys firstly the first phase of map reduce job that is map the mappers will be running on all these three slaves suppose we have just one reducer out of just these three machines just on one machine a reducer will be running suppose this is the second machine so overall we are having just three machines don't be get confused that out of 100 node cluster 70 nodes are for the mappers and 30 nodes are just for the reducers no all 100 nodes can run mappers as well as reducers so guys on each and every slave there can be hundreds of blocks but uh, for the simplicity i am showing you the processing of one block split is the logical representation of the block we'll discuss about split in great details in advanced map reduce session but for the timing you can note down split equals to block please note down guys the very first point one split is processed by one mapper so guys suppose if we are having a file of size 640 mb and block size is 64 how many blocks will be there 10 blocks overall how many mappers will run for this job 10 mappers one block is processed by one mapper 10 blocks processed by 10 mappers so guys mapper or map is the first phase of processing this is the location where user can define his own custom business logic like say for example you are solving some other problem so you will write your logic in your map function if i am solving another problem i'll write my own logic in map function guys there are just two locations where user can write his custom code map and reduce or mapper and reducer now output of mapper is called intermediate output important point this intermediate output is stored on local disk guys the input to the mapper is from hdfs the split or the block is stored on hdfs but the output of mapper is written on local disk why the output of mapper is written on local disk this is intermediate output no need to store it on hdfs guys apart from this data write is very costly as soon as you write any data by default three copies of data will be created that is unnecessary because this is just an intermediate output so guys for the purpose of optimization to get the better performance the output of mapper is written on local disk of that particular slave so for uh, the this slave slave one the output of mapper is written on the slave one's local disk for slave two output of this mapper is written on slave two's local disk imagine z axis on the slave there can be hundreds of mappers parallelly running on each and every slave that is based on slaves configuration machines configuration they all will be writing the output on the local disk the first phase is finished and output intermediate output is available on local disk now the next step is copy or shuffle the output of mapper is shuffled from mapper node to reducer node so guys uh, what is a mapper node the node where the mapper is running for a particular job is called mapper node for that job 
like slave to his mapper node as well as reducer node but from the machine where from the slave where the mapper is running to the slave where the reducer will run data must be copied data must be transported the intermediate output must be shuffled this is called shuffling one question when shuffling will start once all the mappers are finished or as soon as just first mapper finishes guys the answer is as soon as first mapper finishes shuffling will start now let's proceed ahead so guys you can see on the reducer node we have got the output intermediate output from the slave one intermediate output from the slave two intermediate output from the slave three so as in the figure i am showing you three slaves from all these slaves intermediate output came to the slave uh, slave two that is reducer node now your framework will merge intermediate output from all mapper nodes and it will consolidate them this merged output this merged intermediate output will be given as an input to the reducer reducer second phase of processing second phase where user will specify his own business logic based on his requirements so guys in the reducer or reduce we are having a reduce function the number of reducer are quite less than the number of mappers so guys please note down a golden rule usually we specify the work of aggregation and summation in the reducer what about mapper so guys in the mapper we specify all our complex business logic and in the reducer just basic lightweight aggregation and summation sort of work is specified in the reducer output of reducer is the final output that is stored on hdfs as soon as we write any data on hdfs the data will be replicated so guys you can see all this white boxes they are the data on local disk if there are multiple reducers look at it how exactly it will look like output of the mapper will go to all the reducers like one part will go to reducer one and second part will go to reducer number two like suppose guys we are having two reducers so each and every reducer will receive the data from all the mappers so guys from this node on what basis you are writing data to reducer one on what basis you are writing data to reducer number two there is a certain reason behind it we'll discuss that also rest end to end flow is exactly the same what we just talked about that is if you ask me guys if i if you ask me to repeat input split that is input split equals to input data block is given as an input to the mapper mapper processes one block at a time all the complex business logic must be coded must be implemented in the mapper output of mapper is written on local disk now guys as soon as the first mapper finishes the output of mapper will travel from the mapper node to reducer node once all the mappers are finished then the reducer will start how exactly guys uh, the input from all the mappers will be merged and given as an input to the reducer reducer second phase of processing second phase second location where user can specify his own business logic usually we should do light work lightweight work like uh, summation aggregation sort of work in the reducer the output of reducer is the final output that is written on hdfs so guys in the hdfs as soon as the output is written it would be replicated so guys that's it about end to end flow of map reduce